Hey you guys doing? This is Cat 13 the woman with the deep voice, and we are heading towards the end of Amori. Last time, we pieced together what happened. In this episode, it's time to confront Basil. And finally head towards the final boss. Now, this is actually where the paths begin to turn. At any point during this part of One Day Left, if you leave the house, a few things can happen. If Sonny returns to his house and goes to bed, Basil will commit suicide. And Sonny will simply carry something with him for the rest of time. If Sonny goes to bed at his home and grabs a knife, he'll commit suicide. And Basil will also commit suicide too. However, we're heading down the best path, which means we need to confront Basil. Which also means that we have to confront ourselves, which we did last episode. So, without further ado, let's save Basil. Lovely day out tonight. Damn those eyes! Ah, uh, Sunny, it's just you. And I'm glad you came. It's... it's so good to see you. I came to you that day. The day Mari died. When Mari... when Mari fell, you... you couldn't have done it. It, it was something behind you, wasn't it? <laughs> you're a good person, Sunny. I know you're a good person. A good person wouldn't do something like that. After all this time, you've finally come back for me. But tomorrow, you're going away. How could you do that? That's mean, Sonny. That's, that's so mean. That there's something all around us now. Can you see it, Sunny? There's no way out of this, is there? Where are you going? Stop trying to leave me. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it! want to be alone not again you can't leave me again well Sonny's trying here no you wouldn't leave me that's not like you Sonny it's something behind you again isn't it uh, there it is now do you see it stay away stay away from Stay away from Sunny. I'll protect you no matter what, Sunny. You can count on me. When something killed Mari, when something ruined all my photos, I didn't say anything. I didn't want people to think it was you, Sunny. Sunny, Sunny wouldn't do something like that. Don't worry, Sunny. I'll save you again. Something behind you. I'll get rid of it once and for all. Sunny, don't be scared. I'm scared too, but this is for the best. Everything is going to be okay. Everything is going to be okay. Oh, 
boy, yeah, I think we kind of finally see what Basil's been dealing with all this time. All right, so here is one of the final bosses, Basil. Now we have two options. We can either run, which will lead to one of the bad endings, or we can confront him. First of all, we need to calm down. We can't have Sunny. Uh, you try to calm down, but your lungs fought to breathe. You want to run. Your heart rate's increasing. You need to focus. Oh. Um, you try to focus, but nausea overwhelms you. Oh. Um, you want to run. No. Sunny. There's no way out of this, is there? Oh. You tried to persist, but you can hold steady. You want to run. Alright, we're out of skills. So unfortunately, we have to hurt the flower child. Tell me, Sunny. Am I selfish for doing this? Sunny, do you hate me? Man, this is hard to watch. Because remember, this is happening in the real world. This isn't happening in the dream world. I mean, these two boys are legit fighting each other. Sonny is trying to resist hurting his best friend. And possible lover. Maybe something, I don't know. And considering that these two boys are dealing with different forms of something, with Basil fighting to see that Sonny is a good person and Sonny having to fight the fact that he killed his sister without meaning to. Yeah, I can see why this is getting hard to reconcile. Please, stop it. Stop struggling, Sunny. I'm... I'm so tired. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I'm about to have a panic attack alongside Sunny. This is freaking stressful. Stop saying that, Mari. Stop saying that, Basil. Everything isn't okay. Why? Why won't you stop? actually a really cool detail. I never actually noticed that before. Where because Basil managed to hurt Sunny's eye 
half the screen is actually missing. That's actually a really cool detail. I never noticed that. Oh. Now. It's time to end this. We're back in the dream world. One last visit to Headspace. And once again, we're sunny. Mewo! Hi, baby. Mewo! Come back here, you adorable little scamp. Basil. Basil? Are you okay? Hi, Sunny. You found your way back home. I don't know if I ever said this properly, but I'm sorry for causing you so much trouble. When I gave you my photo album, I really did want you to have it. But somehow... When I try to help, I always end up burdening you instead. Even back then. All this pain we've been feeling, the guilt in our hearts. Even if you try to bottle it up, it all comes out somehow. I want to say that everything will be okay. That we have no choice but to carry on. But that's up to you. Aubrey, Kel, and Hero are good friends. You have to trust that they'll forgive you. It's hard to truly believe that, but... The photos on our album, they're not just photos. They're memories. Our memories. It's proof of our friendship. Hold those pictures close. And remember what you want to protect. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It looks like I'm burdening you again. The path to your future will open soon, but only you can decide what to do in the end. It's not much, but I'll be cheering you on. Oh my goodness, Basil hugs! Sunny, let's make some new memories together, okay? That's beautiful. I'm sorry, that was beautiful. I think that summed it up right there. Alright, well. Let's do this. such a sweet thing. Like, oh my gosh. Alright, let's climb on up to our room. And that was not where I thought it would be. I'm guessing we go through here. Yep. Mari! Sunny, it's almost time. You've been through a lot these past few days. Ain't that the truth? You must be tired. We all make mistakes. You've been running from this one for a long time. 
I just have to own up to them sometimes. Get it! No! 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 No, this is a bad time for a yawn. This is an important moment, buddy. Stop. It's tough to own up to them sometimes, but you'll forgive yourself, won't you? I can try. You can do it, Sonny. You've worked really hard to get to this point. There's only one thing left to do. Know that I'll always be watching over you, okay? As long as you remember me, I'll be here. Gotcha. Good kitty. Good baby. Indeed. <laughs> I legit started crying. Like, that was unintentional. All right, it's time to enter the room we've never been in before. You want to unlock the toy box. And there it is. The broken violin. You got a violin. Strange of long black hair entangled with its strings. You got sheet music. The paper is torn and wrinkled by blood, but it can still be read. All right. And there we go. Just us. At long last. Grand piano. The word Amori is etched onto its center. All right, and here we go. Yes, I got just what I needed. Uh-oh, my head doesn't look good enough. You can't just tell that, you can't tell people that, Cal. You have to keep a good poker face. What, when did you get here? I just got here, silly. Here, I brought cookies for everyone. Basil, are you taking a photo? Oh, um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, man, don't take a photo when I'm struggling like this. Don't be so dramatic, Kel. It's just a card game. Huh? Another photo? What's so funny, anyway? There's something you're not telling us, Basil. Don't worry about it. 
he'll find out soon enough. Mr. Plant Egg. Good lord. Look at Aubrey's hand. It's a two, a five, and a ten. Freshly baked cookies. It smelled better knowing that Mari made him from scratch. The violin mended a part of itself. I love the whole idea that it's literally walking down memory lane. This is actually really f interesting and clever. Another memory. Let's see what it has in tow. Oh, so happy! We're at the beach. And there, the watermelon's all cut up. Come on, everyone, take a slice. Yay, thank you, hero. Look at you, such a big, strong man. Uh, not now, Mari. <laughs> Woohoo! That beats a nice, juicy watermelon on a hot summer day. Nom, 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 nom. Hey! <clears throat> hey, don't take a picture of me while I'm eating basil. Aw, I'm sorry, Aubrey. I just thought you look cute. I'll show you when it's ready. Well, okay then. I trust you, Basil. Hey, Sunny. Hey, Sunny. Do you want to see the picture of Aubrey? Aww, so cute. Yes, she is. So happy. Cooties. That's funny. All right. You remember the taste of watermelon. It tasted more delicious when you ate it with everyone in the hot summer. The violin mended a part of itself. Is the mirror to get darker all of a sudden? Maybe it's just me, I don't know. All right, let's see what's in here. Hmm, it looks like everyone went fell asleep. I guess it's just us three now. Everyone must be feeling sleepy after such a big meal. Thank you for cooking for all of us, hero. Oh, it was nothing. I just practiced a little. I'm glad you all liked it. One day, you're going to be a world-famous chef. And you're going to cook me lots of yummy food. Hmm? Wait, I am? Of course you are. I believe in you. Well, if you say so. I'm glad you're using your camera more, Basil. You seem to be enjoying your new hobby. Well, yeah. I guess it's pretty fun once you get the hang of it. Wait a sec. There's something strange in this photo. Hector! How could you? 
Oh my goodness. Hugs. Lots of hugs. Ari's cookies. Boy, this must look familiar. How do I get back on my picnic table? You remembered the feeling of sleeping in Mari's lap. Felt more comfortable because you knew that no matter what, Mari will always keep you safe. <laughs> so sweet. Getting to sleep on Mari's lap. Boy, Sunny really is like a cat. Well, oh, this looks familiar. Hey, Sunny. Hey, Basil. What took you guys so long? Sorry. We got carried away playing this new game. We could fight each other with these things called pet rocks. Basil! Basil! Take a picture of my new raincoat. Oh, okay. Um, one sec. Man, I'm forgetting everybody's voices. Do you like it, Sunny? It's my favorite color, pink. Ew, pink is a gross color. No, it's not. Kel, you're a gross color. That doesn't even make any sense. Oh, Sunny, that reminds me. Ah, fuck. I can't do that voice for now. My throat is not happy. Mari and I were talking about dyeing her hair together. Mari says she's going to dye her hair purple. P purple You want to know what color I chose? Wait, are you saying you want to dye your hair pink? Ugh, that's weird. Why would you ever do that? I don't know. I just thought it would be cute. Mari thinks so too. Hmm. I'll never understand you two and your crazy ideas. I think pink would look good on you, Aubrey. We found out which one had a crush on Aubrey. What do you think, Sunny? Of course. Sunny says he thinks that pink is a great color. See, even Basil and Sunny agree. You're the one who's weird, Kel. <laughs> Whatever. I do like the little umbrella, that's kind of cute. Alright, I'm gonna let you guys just debate things. Oh, are you going ahead, Sonny? Don't worry about us, we'll catch up in a minute. I do like the added details of the water on the ground. That's actually a really tough detail to get right. You remember the smell of falling rain as it hit your umbrella. It sounded more calming knowing that you were standing next to your best friends. Yeah, it is getting darker. Like, I'm even looking at the screen right now, and it looks very dark. I think I'm talking my computer screen, by the way. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to be in the photo, Sunny? Sunny is a bit camera shy. <coughs> Mercy! 
The freaking slime is back. Sunny is a bit camera shy. We all have those days, don't we? It's okay, Sunny. You'll get used to it soon enough. Wow, this cake looks so amazing! You really outdid yourself this time, Hero. Yeah, thanks, Hero. I love strawberries. Basil, basil. Basil, basil, what do you wish... What wish are you gonna make? I can't talk today because I'm so excited. Hey, you can't ask that, Aubrey. Or else it won't come true. Huh? Is that how it works? Then in that case, I wish that Kel would get straight A's in school. Hey, you can't do that! Hmm, a wish. Hmm. But what should I wish for? I have everything that I could want right here. Oh, I know! <laughs> I think I wish for... Just kidding. <laughs> it's a secret. Aw, I want to know, though. Guys, if we don't hurry, the candles are going to melt. Are we all ready to sing? Yeah, you bet! Did you want to start us off, Mari? Sure thing. Hmm. <laughs> And a one, and a two, and a three, and a four. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Basil. Happy birthday to you. Woohoo! Light your candles, Basil. Make a wish. Aww. That's adorable. You remembered. Basil smiled as he was about to blow out his birthday candles. But you also remembered, as Basil made his wish, you made one too. At that time, you wished for everyone to be happy. The violin mended a part of itself. Yay, the song! We get to hear it again! I'm so happy. <coughs> God! I am so sick of me needing to cough whenever I need to talk. Whoa! A new basketball? Thanks, bro! No problem, Kel. You think of me by doing a little better in school. Uh-huh, you bet. Okay, Sonny, it's time for you to open up your present. This year, you get just one present from all of us. It probably doesn't look like much, but we all had to save up for it together. Yeah, me and Basil even started selling cookies and lemonade in the summer. And Mari and I took a job at the bakery for a while, if you remember. And me? I deliver newspapers every morning for like three months. And you know how much I hate mornings. Yeah, I feel you, Kel. We know this might be a lot of pressure, but... It's been a while since you quit playing the violin. Mari told us how, about how you always sit in the room with her when she's practicing the piano. And there was even that one time I caught you trying to play your old mini piano, violin, even though I, even though it was way too small for you. Anyway, it was Basil's idea, but we all decided to pitch in for a really nice one. So yeah, we hope you like it, Sunny. This is from all of us. The violin. So happy. Ta-da! It's your very own violin. 
We hope you like it, Sunny. Go on, try it out. You felt a tingling in your fingers, as if it was, as if on its own, your body ready the violin to play. memory. You remembered the anxious feeling of your heart as you played the first note on your new violin. That it scared you, but you didn't mind, because they believed in you. And no matter what, you didn't want to disappoint them, because they were your friends. The violin regained its shape. Alright, and with everything together, we have regained all of our memories. And there's only one last thing to do. However, we're going to have to do that next time. See you guys later.